Hey guys, Paul here. I am going to show you today how to use this uh, plugin on your WordPress blog so you can actually manage your own advertising, sell your own advertising space. Keep putting Google AdSense if you want, but you're going to be able to sell space on your site for sponsorship um, and start making a little bit more money out of it. So. You will, you know, obviously go. Will Craft Beer is a uh, a platform that I've been showing people how to make money on a website, and obviously we put in one of the previous videos we put Google AdSense videos at the top here, um, Google uh, in the sidebar, and then at the footer of every uh, every uh, poster advert. Right now, it'd be great to be able to say here, do you want to buy this, and then a beer related. Um, advertiser buy that space for a month and you can do that and you can charge them per day per month per week or per click using this i guess it's called oio publisher um wordpress plugin it is 47 dollars i'm logged in but i've got a license so it's 47 dollars for a license um so it's but it's worth having a poke and a play with and i'm going to put it on I'm going to put it on this Bermuda Corona League website I use, and I'm going to put an advert up in this corner. So, first things first, I'm not going to do it on, on World of Craft Beer, but just because that's a multi-site, and I wanted to make I wanted to make this as, as obvious as your installation. Multi-site is a bit funkier, so... I'm going to go and add a new plugin i'm going to upload the plugin i'm going to drag and drop on mac you just select the file anywhere else install the plugin when it does it that website's been a little bit slower lately i probably need to give it some love activate the plugin da -da 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 -da. So like I said, this is going to give you control over your website advertising space and get you a little bit more revenue. Right, and you're ready to set it all up. So now we'll do a bit of setup. Welcome to our yes, installation complete. You have course complete installation before. So there's some links to how to do it. I'm just going to click continue. Um, you're going to come down and you're going to see you've got settings where you're going to set up your basic information uh, enter your affiliate ID. So what am I here? Uh, become an affiliate. Here's my ID for affiliates. So if anybody else bought it, you could make a little change. You're going to put your currency. So US dollars, if it's leaving it as that. So it's a Bermuda company. Uh, allow advertisers to edit ads. If yes, advertisers will be able to update the text banner at purchasing. You may want to tinker with this, only allow payment after ad approved, allow subscription payments. There's all sorts of settings that you can change and play with. I'm just going to leave it as is for now. So I'm going to show you how to get up and running fast. And we can always come back to the funky stuff. So you're going to have ad zones, right? So you're going to have places where your ads coding is going to be placed on your website, right? So if I wanted to, let me just go here. If I wanted to do an ad in this spot here, what's that like 250? Is it 250 wide or something? So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna leave this zone one as two as 125 by 125, um, and then two columns each, right? So that should uh, cost per day. That should make it a four grid. Um, advertising space. So if I grab this code and then go to uh, customize widgets, it's going to be different ways of getting, depending on where you want this code to be. Sidebar, add a widget, text, drag it up the top. In fact, there's probably, there may even be a widget for that IOI. Did a add badge there it is add zone so you could in theory put this up and zone id banner ad save and publish and that would put that up up in that corner 
or you could drop that code into a text box and it would do the same sort of thing. Save or publish and that would drop that same thing there. But I'll use, the, I'll use their widget for now. Right, add zone, enter, maximum to your slots, all. So how many slots are allowed to be free um, on that grid? So that now there's four spaces because there's four empty slots. Use fluid width, yes. You shuffle ads on page load, so do you want the ads to be in different order? We might as well write uh, zone title sidebar. I don't know if that's going to put it up the um, up the top there. Yeah, it did. So um, our sponsors. Come on, so now I can save and publish that and that's where I've set up in this ad zone 125px uh, zone columns 2, zone rows 2. Now if I wanted to change that I could go um, zone columns 1, zone rows 2 and then change the width to 250 and the height leave at 125. Now when I refresh this, in fact I'll just close that then it changes it to a double width and a single and a and um two two in a row like that, right? So that is two fifty wide by one fifty. So if I changed it to a two fifty by two fifty and changed it to one and one, then that is just gonna be one add block. Right? Right, so now how do we sell this space? You can obviously put an image here that says buy this ad and sends to a contact page and then you um, text some information or you may have contacted somebody and said look there's a space for an image would you like to purchase that image 500 pound a month or whatever it might be so let's just pretend you've already got your sponsor right let's keep it simple you've got your sponsor you're going to go to add purchases you're going to go new banner ad and then put in, I'm so I'll just do me as a test, Paul Nicholson, Paul at paulnicholson.com, zone one, because that's where that zone is. If you put more than one, you do it approved. Use no follow. I can never remember what no follow is. It's always to do with how the links track or the links go. I'll just leave it as no. Site tracking, yes. Price, I don't know, 50 pound. Currency, dollar. Uh, put paid. Subscription, if you wanted to claim every month, yes, no. Cost per day, cost per click, cost per impression. This is all going to be more set up if you're doing it automated rather than like I'm doing it, I'm doing it manual by doing it myself. So I'm going to do 3, 1, 2017, 2, 5, 1, 2017. I am going to put my phone on silent just in case it buzzes. Uh, choose the image that's going to show. Um, have I got, so maybe this one, I'll use this one for a test, it might be a bit too big really, but uh, website URL, I'll put in that, so that's the link for the image. The alt text, um, Paul Nicholson, some, somebody hovers on it, online training website right category i'll leave as all sub id i'm going to leave add code i'm going to leave that's if they've got an actual uh code on there instead update changes and that is new purchase sorted. everything seems to be happy view the banner there's the picture now with a bit of luck when i go to visit the site the advert is there. So that's the easiest way, right? So then then if I did, uh, if I then went dashboard, ad purchases, new banner ad, Paul, Paul at paulnicholson.com, 
I'm not sure exactly how much has to be filled out or not. I'll maybe just try and jump past it and see what it does. Um, have I got any more squares that? Da, 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 da. What is he doing? So I'm going to say if you sold two spaces. Um, looking for a square. I put my ugly mug on it, right? And update changes. New purchase. View banner. So that's the picture. If I go to here now and refresh it. Oh. Hold on, let's go back to add zones and let me see what I did for that. Um, rotate equally with purchases, weighted add rotation, fill, fill. I'll just make sure it's there by adding a row. So if I put two here, then it'll put two pictures there. I haven't I haven't used this, if you could probably tell that I don't use this all the time. I've used it in the past. Uh, so I didn't set that fully up, did I, properly? So it's now showing one and one. Let me, which is good, because it proves that I didn't do it properly. Add purchases. If I go to banner ads, there should be two. So, so one, no payment. Right, there you go, that's why, no payment yet. So if I put paid, update changes, Purchase, upload, and then if I go to this now, now you see picture, picture. Now if I go back to adverts, um, zones, and go back to change this to one, update changes. It's gonna go back to one picture, but as I refresh the page, Kind of open the other advert comes up. So yeah, so the other adverts they're weighted to show an equal amount of times um, different adverts on every page. So it should if I click on something else. Oh, it's kind of stuck on one. Come on. Ah. So the home page likes that picture. It didn't there. Uh, keep flicking so now it's happy on that one <laughs> but you can see that you can use both pictures you can use adverts it's obviously tinkering to do when you pay your 47 dollars you can you can um go and um ask for support i'm obviously not not giving you the best but i haven't used this plugin for a while so i'm not totally up to date with how to use it so apologies if I'm a bit mumbled, but I think you're getting the gist that this plugin allows you to take control of your advertising space by creating a um, create for the empty spaces, add spaces only. Uh, yeah, sorry, it lets you take control of your advertising space, lets you start to... Um, see the stats the i know that the the advertiser will get a, a an email telling them how many clicks they've had on the on the advertising how many you know if it's a payment pay by click pay um sort of um pay by impressions it'll they'll get a report showing uh all their stats so at the moment this is the link to the affiliate program now what I wanted was to work out before you leave me. I had purchase settings. I want that that spare block. Uh, enable payment test mode. I have to put that on. Allow advertisers to edit pages. I'll put yes. Allow allow payment after approval. Yes. Allow subscription. Yes. Obviously, display ads in new window. Might as well. Allow image uploading, yes. Use security question. Post specific purchase links. Allow the allows the display of a post specific purchase link directly under content. Um, redirect purchase link to customer. So there's all sorts of funky things to set up and play with. Original script URL. 
Let me have a look at where that goes to. Did nothing. So I can't remember exactly how to do it where you click and send them to the purchase page. It's been, like I say, it's been a while, but I don't do a lot of advertising on my site. Um, add purchases. New text. You see, I think if you send them this link, need to make a payment. Purchase code. No, that's not it. Create new purchase. New banner ad. So if I gave this link to somebody and I went to a different website, access denied. So yeah, I can't remember exactly, but there's a way that you get them to set this up for themselves. Obviously, this is you setting it up with payments and stuff, but you can get it so it clicks and says, um, it clicks and shows um, paid zone, paid review, Filter results last seven days. I'm getting a bit garbled and a bit mumbly, but um, what I'm trying to say is you you can control this advertising space. Let me just jump in finally and show that you could also um, go to ad zones and grab that code. Go to that page. Edit the page. Da, da, da. And in the top of this page, if I go to text and paste in that code, so you can actually add the actually add that ad zone wherever you want to, and then view it. It'll be the advertising right in the middle of the page, right? So I think you're getting what I'm saying is that that plugin is easy to use. He says. Um, in as much as that you can take control, you can take payments online direct, you can sell the space and monitor how many clicks it gets to, to try and get you more sales the month after. So it's worth having a play with, it's um, oiopublisher.com. I'll put some links below. In fact, I'll put this link, I'm an affiliate link, look. <laughs> I'll share that link, so I'll get a little bit of money if you sign up and give it a test. So hopefully it helped. Um, any questions, give me a shout. Leave a comment, leave a like or dislike. I know I got a little bit off a uh, wavy on that one, but um, I hopefully this is a an easy, easy sort of update option for you to take control of your own advertising space. All right, see you later soon. Thanks.